So hello everybody, uh, I'm Ruth and my work is uh, examining the, the structural connectivity in traumatic brain injury patients. So uh, as you heard, traumatic brain injury is an alteration in the brain caused by uh, external force. Uh, TBI is known uh, to produce the disconnection in large-scale large uh, brain networks. And one of the most common uh, head injury mechanism it is called diffuse axonal injury, which is defined as damage to white matter connections. And in some brain functions that are damaged after TBI, they are dependent on the activity of networks that are uh, widely distributed. And the DAI, uh, diffuse axonal injury, might be a core mechanism underlying these uh, cognitive impairments. So the impact of diffuse axonal injury is uh, widespread and highly various across subject, uh, which disrupt the whole brain network integrity. Um, one approach to examine this alteration is graph theory, with a, which is a mathematical framework that can categorize the brain from both a global and a local network perspective. Uh, uh, graph uh, theory has been found uh, an application in the clinical neuroscience and it's providing a biomarker in various brain uh, disorders. In highly uh, various and heterogeneous uh, conditions such as uh, TBI, the advantage of uh, such, as, uh, such an approach is that it examines both local and global effects of the injury on brain connectivity. So the, um, the aim of the study is to examine whether TBI patients will exhibit changes in structural network topology, topology and will those changes will be affected by injury severity. Uh, in addition, uh, we tested whether the relationship between cognition and structural uh, network topology will be modulated by uh, the injury severity. So the subject in our study were 22 uh, diffuse closed head injury patients and 22 healthy control subjects. Uh, all the participants uh, recruited at least a year post-injury to allow the spontaneous recovery of the, of the brain after the injury. We divided the TBI patients into mild and moderate severe groups uh, using the Glasgow Coma Scale, which is a well-known uh, scale to measure uh, injury severity. So in my work, uh, as you can see, all the subjects underwent uh, DTI uh, imaging. And using the DTI scans, uh, we constructed a whole brain tractography from this tract uh, that we created in a combination of the AAL atlas, which is a structural atlas uh, of the brain. Um, uh, so we created the matrices of connectivity. So in the matrices of connectivity, in rows and columns, you can see the nodes, the brain regions, uh, which are the regions we chose from the a AAL sorry, uh, atlas, and they are the regions of interest. We had 90 regions of interest. Uh, and inside the matrix, you can see the edges, which are the connection between those regions. In our case, this is the white matter connections. And it was defined using the number of fibers between uh, each uh, pair of regions. Okay, and after uh, we created the connectivity matrices, we can also uh, show this as a graph. You can see the connectomic. Uh, it, it can model the brain as a network, and from th those uh, networks, we calculated the global and the local graph theory measures, measure, measures for each subject. So to determine the architecture of the network, uh, we used three net, uh, graph theory domains. Uh, integration, segregations, and centrality. Integration is the ability uh, to combine from uh, information from uh, different regions in the brain. Segregation is the ability to perform uh, processes within cluster of neighboring, uh, neighboring regions. And centrality decides the importance of each node in the network. One important uh, concept of centrality is hub which are defined as nodes that occupy the most central position in the network and connect between other regions in the network. Okay. So to characterize the th uh, three different domains, 
we chose one measure uh, from graph theory uh, to each domain. So efficiency defined as the shorter the path between nodes, the more efficient their connection. So you can see that when the path is di direct, the connection is more efficient. Um, for centrality, we chose fringe, which is defined as the number of edges connected to a node. So when you have a lot of uh, other nodes connected to one node, its trend is, is higher. And cluster coefficients reflect the tendency of uh, nodes to cluster together. So when the neighbors are uh, clustered and co uh, connected to each other, the uh, cluster coefficients increase. Uh, Besides uh, from the MRI scans, all subjects perform a cognitive tests outside of the scanner. Uh, in most studies, the assessment of cognitive functions prior to the injury is inaccessible and usually based on uh, subjective estimations. That can be very problematic because what we assume to be related to the injury is not really related to it. So uh, what we did that in our study we had um, a unique access to pre-military uh, task uh, that was obtained in adolescence as part of the pre-military test, you know it as the FAR, and we used it as our pre-military, uh, uh, sorry, as our pre-injury uh, scores. So what we did, uh, we subtract, subtract the pre-injury scores from our uh, post-injury cognitive scores that we examined in our lab and uh, created an objective cognitive change score. The task we use uh, is an uh, abstract reasoning task called the uh, Raven Progressive Matrices. And you can see that the, uh, each subject gets a matrix uh, of shapes which, with one shape missing. And the aim of the subject is to find uh, the logic rule and to uh, find the one missing shape from an array of options. Okay, so Usually uh, we use this, uh, this test to, to find the executive function and the fluid intelligence. So just upon looking at the subject networks, you can see that the density, the overall density of the uh, TBI patient de in decreased. Okay? Uh, especially in the moderate severe group, you can see there is less uh, fibers between uh, regions. And when we did statistic, uh, in the global perspective, you can see here that we found a significant difference between groups in uh, strength, efficiency, and cluster coefficient. Uh, and all measure was found with a dose effect, we call it. Uh, the more severe the injury, the value of the measure decreased. You can see it in all measures, the same uh, pattern. Okay? Uh, hubs, which are the most central nodes in the network, were also uh, different between groups. So you can see that the right thalamus was hub only for the control group, and the left precuneus was hub only in the control and the, more, uh, and the mild group, sorry. Uh, and the uh, left parietal superior was uh, hub only in the mild group. The left temporal middle and the left, uh, and left occipital superior in, uh, increased their centrality and they were hub only in the moderate severe group. Uh, uh, after that, we examined the regions that differed between groups and tested their, uh, the correlation of their uh, measure with the cognition we found in the uh, scores we found in the abstract reasoning task. So, uh, in, uh, in that correlations, we found that in the precuneus, the efficiency value uh, was positively correlated with cognitive change score, meaning that higher performance was associated with higher efficiency of the network. Uh, you can see that, that this uh, correlation was only permanent in the control group and not in the um, mild and moderate severe group, which was uh, the correlation wasn't significant there. Uh, in local perspective, uh, we tested the network measure across all brain regions. In uh, the strength, me strength measure, uh, which is, uh, sorry, represent the number of connections for each node, we found that 10 out of 90 regions we examined uh, had the same, uh, were different between groups, and they all had uh, the same dose effect we found before. 
Okay, the, you can see that all all, uh, all regions had the same uh, effect as a control group had the higher uh, value and then mild and then moderate severe. You can see that the mild is really closer to the, uh, the mild group, sorry, closer to the uh, control group than the moderate severe. So in, in conclusion, uh, our findings provide initial, initial evidence that the injury severity modulates uh, the disruption in network organization with a dose response relationship. The dose response relationship uh, was constant, especially in strength, which was uh, prominent in global and local uh, perspective. The disconnection uh, in network hub might lead us to a less, uh, uh, less uh, efficient uh, network, which in turn can cause the cognitive impairments we see in uh, TBI patients. And the central role uh, we found uh, in the efficiency with the cognition, uh, we found that the, the, sorry, the proteins had, might be a central role in the integration of cognitive information and might be the cause for the, um, the problem in the cognitive uh, abilities. So uh, finally, a graph theoretical analysis of structural connectivity using uh, DTI might be a sensitive tool for both detecting a uh, brain injury and allowing a better understanding of TBI outcomes. Thank you all and thank you for my lab members.